If I say bamboo, what do you think of immediately? Like right now, what are you thinking? Probably something along the lines of fast growing grass or plant and maybe also panda. <laughs> but why on earth am I talking to you about bamboo and what does it have to do with growing a successful handmade business? Because most of us think of bamboo as this crazy fast growing grass that's able to grow by 80 feet in six weeks. That's impressive, but it's also not the full story. Somehow we've collectively decided to completely ignore the fact that it takes five years for bamboo to sprout. Five years during which the bamboo is changing underground where we can't see it getting ready to emerge strong and proud out of the soil. But if you didn't know that and you were staring at a patch of soil for five years, you'd think that bamboo would never sprout, that it was just a complete failed attempt to grow bamboo, which is a lot like your handmade business. Now, of course, it doesn't take five years to see results and get sales from your business, and thank God for that. But I'm also willing to bet that at times you might feel like nothing is working or paying off and that all your efforts and the work that you're putting in your shop is in vain and what you feel is disappointment right so if that's the case this video is for you i'm going to show you just how much all the time and energy you are spending on your business will pay off even though you might not see it right now ready let's dive in Bonjour, my name is Deb and I'm the founder of Tizit Deco, a membership community for makers and handmade sellers just like your fabulous self. You can learn more about our community Tizit HQ via the link below this video. But for now, let's jump straight into today's conversation. And what I want to talk to you about today is something called the compound effect. The compound effect talks about how results come from small incremental improvements that compound over time. You can tell I feel passionately about this and it's one of my main life and business philosophies because I know just how much consistent effort pays off from witnessing it in my own life, in my own business, as well as in the businesses of the wonderful handmade shop owners that I have the privilege to work with. There are so many articles out there on the internet that are going to say things like how to make six figures in three months and Look, that's just ridiculous. It is selling something that most of us won't be able to achieve. Is it possible to make six figures in three months? Sure, but often that's just disregarding the prep work that was done before that Plus, it's not the reality of what most businesses are like. So let's go back to our bamboo analogy real quick. When you hear about how amazing bamboo is because it can grow to 80 feet in six weeks, it sounds amazing, but people don't want to mention that it takes five years for the bamboo to sprout because that part is boring. This picture tells the real story. Look at years one through four and you see nothing, nada, not a single sign to tell you the bamboo is growing. And then suddenly in year five, boom, you see where I'm going with this, right? We do the same with everything in life and in business. We are impatient. We seek instant gratification. We often prefer to have one marshmallow now rather than two later. And when results aren't instantaneous, we get emotional and act on those emotions rather than on logic. We feel disappointed and we act from a space of disappointment, which often only makes things more difficult for ourselves. So what can you do when you feel this way, when you feel disappointed by your lack of instant, big, rewarding results? Well, you think of me reminding you that you are front loading the work. Let me explain. Front loading the work. If you want your handmade business to be a success for years to come, you have to think long term. This will allow you to start front loading the work to get solid foundations in place that will pay dividends down the line. You want your progress curve to look like this. At first, it might look like you're making less progress, but everything you do is logically built on the previous step, compounding over time and leading you slowly but surely to exponential growth and real lasting results for your shop and business. Essentially, you're slowing down to speed up. James Clear talks about this phenomenon in his book Atomic Habits, which I highly recommend, and calls it the plateau of latent potential. Take a look at this graph. The straight line is what you think your business should do when you first start it up. And the curved line is what really happens. And that empty space in between those lines is called the valley of disappointment 
which is an easy place to get stuck in and feel discouraged. But the reality is that to get to that breakthrough event where your sales start to go up, usually takes a few months of little, 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 little steps that build on top of each other and eventually compound and start to pay off. And so when you're waiting for that breakthrough and you're in that valley of disappointment, you are just like the bamboo before it grows, sitting in soil, getting ready to take off. Of course, it doesn't take five years to make sales or a consistent income from your handmade shop. I'm really happy to say that, but it does take consistency. And you probably heard me say it before. I feel like I say this all the time. I think this is like my favorite thing to say. I don't know. Maybe I should get a tattoo on my arm that says this, but here it is. Results come from consistency and consistency can only happen over time. I'm going to say that one more time to really let it sink in. Results come from consistency and consistency can only happen over time. So even though you might hear these multiple six figures success stories and you feel impatient and you want to see the results of all your hard work like yesterday, please. <laughs> I want you to know you're just watering the bamboo seed. So if your shop has only been open for a few weeks or even a few months, you're not the biggest failure in the universe. That's just what your mean inner voice wants you to think. Don't listen to it. Remember the compound effect. You're front loading the work and keep pushing through and showing up consistently because it does pay off. And if you're feeling this courage, and you want some guidance and support to lift up your spirits and help you make sure that you are doing all the right things in the right order to help your handmade shop grow, come join us inside TZHQ. It's a wonderfully supportive community. I will link to it below. Go check it out. And until next time, thanks for watching and au revoir.